Okay, on this video I'm going to show you a couple of extra tricks that you probably wouldn't find on your own. And we're going to just kind of get a taste of what your next project is going to be by making one of the pieces for it, which is the, uh, what is this, the upper die. Alright, so this is for the button maker. Uh, we're going to go ahead and click on a plane. And right in the middle, on the origin, we're going to make a circle. It tells us the outside diameter is 3.0625. And if we zoom out, uh, well, yeah, we can just finish the sketch there. Let's extrude this. And it's supposed to be 0.3125. Okay. Now on the front side of this, we're going to make a little circle straight up here somewhere and it says this is uh, 1.3125 away the diameter of this circle is going to be and this is one of the nubbies gives me the diameter of the nubby is 0.1875 it's a very technical word, by the way, the nubby. We're going to extrude just that one little circle, a distance of, well, and this is where you have to do a little interpretation. You could calculate it by hand, but you don't have to. Uh, it says from the back of this to the front of this is 0.53, and that this part is 0.31. So instead, I'm just going to type in uh, 0.53 minus 0.31. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up, expand my origin, look at the YZ plane, and make a new sketch on that. It, it may not be your YZ plane. I'm looking for the plane that's going to cut this in half down the middle. So make a new sketch on that and hit your F7. That's going to split your graphics. Uh, project your geometry so you can see uh, the sides of this. I want to see left side, right side, top. Circle. I'm going to click on the midpoint and then on one of the corners. I'm also going to draw a line right down the middle of it. I'm going to finish my sketch. Oh, no, I didn't want to finish my sketch. Let's come back in here for a second. We are going to trim some of this away. And if I go back to F7, you see I cut off the bottom half of the circle and the top half of the circle. I'm going to revolve just this uh, quadrant. So revolve. That's the feature. This is the axis. Check. There are three of these, so I'm going to make a circular pattern and 3D with both this feature and this feature. It highlights both the extrusion and the little round part that we did. Rotation axis is just anything that's round. And there are three of them. So there they are. On the back side of this, we need to make a new sketch. Right in the middle, we get to put a point and then up above it we get to put another point. The distance between these two is 0.5. Finish your sketch and here's a trick. Uh, we are going to right click on this and mm, you know what we're just gonna leave it for right now. We'll come back to that in a second. Uh, we do need to make one of these into a hole so right here on the center one, it says it's a 0.25 through hole. So distance is through all. And now the crosshair from the other one disappeared. Here's where I was going to do something before. I got ahead of myself. Grab sketch 7, drag it above hole 1, and now right click and make it visible. Now sketch 7 is its own feature. It's not just a sketch anymore. Uh, and it's 
separate from hole one. So I can still use this to click on the other crosshair that we made. And this one is different. It has a, a V shape to it on the paper, which means it's a countersink. It says it's a 0.25 through hole, but then as far as the head of it, uh, the major diameter is 0.344, and it's 82 degrees. Okay, so there it has a little bit of a chamfer to it. Let's flip it back over to the other, well, no, let's do one more thing on this side. Let's make another sketch. There's going to be a little circle just below here and the distance between the center and that circle, and there's another one of those nubbies, um, is 0.875. Diameter of this circle, they tell you is 0.25. So it's a little bit thicker, quite a bit thicker than the other ones. We're going to extrude that out, and this is a distance of 0.875. but there's a round bit on it. So the same way we did before, find the plane that cuts through it, make a new sketch, F7 to cut your graphics, zoom in close, use your project geometry to get one of the sides and the top part, center point circle, use the mid midpoint as your center point, where the two points come together as your end point, make a short line between the midpoint of your circle in the top of your circle, so you have just a little quadrant. Trim off the parts that you do not need. Finish your sketch. We are going to revolve just that one little bit around its own axis. And you see this annoying yellow line? That's because I still have the sketch visible, so I'm going to make it invisible take that off. Now on this other side, uh, this does dip down a little bit, and it looks like they don't give it to you, but they give you everything that you need to know. So we know that this entire circle has a diameter of uh, 3.0625. One second here. Okay. This is 3.0625. This is 2.625. And we're going to assume that the distance between these two circles, if I were to click on uh, dimension, this 0.219 number here, is the same as if I would offset this here. So I'm going to dimension between these two circles and instead of typing it in I can just click on this as a reference dimension. This is the circle I was looking for. This one I don't really care about. Uh, the actual dimensions of it if you care to know is 0.2188 this is telling me that this is over dimensioning, which it is. I already have this stuff dimensioned here. I already had this dimension based off of this midpoint. But I'm trying to show you something, so that's okay. I'm going to cut this, just the inside part, and it needs to go in a distance of 0 0.031. Okay, the last bit, it says these are rounded over, so I make a 3D fillet and it is 0 0.031. It says front and back, so that means this and this. And I believe that's it. I'm going to look over the drawing real quick and make sure uh, we talked about everything. We have the major diameter, we have how far it cuts in, half inch between these two holes. We have 120 degrees between here, which we did with the circular constraint or not circular constraint, uh, circular pattern. I believe that's everything. Good, save your work.